And we're back. Uh, let me just now edit that a bit. So this should be fine, I think. So we're going to play Locomotive, um, which is a little point and click game. Um, so I've not actually played it. Uh, the reason why there is a continue there is just because I needed to set it up. That's what I did right now. So you know what? Let's go for a new game. Somewhere deep in Switzerland. 1939. On the Reus Express. In the room of Arthur Ackerman. There, that should do it. Hello. Yikes. My apologies, Mr. Ackerman. You stalled me. Call me Arthur. You're the estate attorney, yes? I'm breaking and entering? <laughs> I'm under orders, I'm afraid. Interesting. This comes direct from Lady and. Oh, of course. Letter on the side of the table for you, sir. And the suit carrier for you as well, sir. She was quite insistent. She certainly has a ways. Of course, sir. Well, I leave you to it. Fine. I wonder what Lady Un Unterwald has in store for me this time. Well, can I do? So far that flips into a bed. Let's click the letter. Dear Mr. Ackerman, please report to me in the lounge at your earliest convenience. I have further amends to make before the big announcement tonight. When you're one of my trains, I'd like everyone to come away with a smile on their face. And a new story to tell. As it's impossible for anyone to have a good time while looking drab. So drab. I've made appropriate arrangements. Yours sincerely, Lady Unterwald. P.S. Don't stall Maurice if you find him delivering this message. He has a heart condition. Well, have a good time? What on earth does she mean? Yeah, bitch, what do you mean? Luggage. It's a, it's a mirror. Suit. It look like I'm expected to wear this. Oh, we don't see him. Well. Yeah, you kind of look weird. Metal clothes hanger. You never know when you're gonna need a metal hanger. Yeah, man. Tell me so. Nothing but hills. It's not really hills in Switzerland in general, uh, to be honest. You have some hills, but you see something else. I'm speaking from first hand experience. Look out world at Arthur A. Ackerman has some intense lowering to do. Wow. And he dresses to impress. Dapper. Adversary proceedings. Are you sure you haven't just misplaced your room key, sir? Misplaced? My good friend, I must remind you of who, we are, who I am. And who is that, sir? This I, Herman Merman, world famous detective. Perhaps you have read the stories of my cases. Hermann Merman and the Murmuring German? Hermann Merman and the Squirming German? Sorry, sir, not a big reader. Not even Hermann Merman and the Sermon of Vermin? Good God. My point being, I don't misplace things. I solve them. 
That's excellent news, sir. I'm sure you'll have no problems with the case of the missing keys. Well. Um. Yes, you're quite right. Now that he mentions it. I did see that Drunker stumbling in the halls earlier this evening. So sorry, I don't do autographs. Um, wait a moment, I know you. You're that estate lawyer for Lady Unterwald. Ackerman, is it? That's right. You've lost the keys to your room? I heard you're a bit of a dick. Uh, you've lost the keys to your room. Lost them? No. There are definitely full play at work here. I smell a rat. And I'm going to sniff them out. If my name isn't Herman Merman. Of course it is. I, I lost the line there, but... How do you know, Lady Unterwald? Ach, yeah. Let's just say we're both mutual benefit factor of Ladies Unterwald. Eccentricity. Go on. She uses my private detective service to keep tabs on her extended family. And she uses your estate management service to wire them out of any. Interesting. Undeserved inheritances. Oh dear. She did write out a cousin for chewing too loudly that one time. Well. Oh yes. She's as mad as a box of frogs. What the hell? But if you do want to inherit wealth, power and influence. You play by her rules. I heard you're a bit of a dick. I heard you're a bit of a dick. You couldn't say I'm the biggest dick in continental Europe. <laughs> okay. They don't come as any bigger as these come shoe. Okay, okay. I've got to go. Ladies Unterwald is waiting for me. Best be off then. She's not one for waiting. Okay, so that guy has lost his keys. Can I go in that direction? Nothing but sleeper carriages down there. Okay, and besides, Lady's Unterwald is waiting for me in the lounge. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to find where the lounge is, man. Herman Merman. I'm guessing dining carriage. This is going to end up in a murder story, and I love every single of these. Smoking lady. Hi. Hello. Arthur Ackerman at your service. The name is Suzanne Goldschmidt. How can I help you, Arthur? What is it people do to have fun here? Here? Nothing out of the ordinary. We partake in the pleasure of life. Well, do you have any advice? My advice? Make new friends. Break a few rules. Create new memories. Eat, drink, smoke, fall. Got it, thank you. Oh. Tell me, Arthur, if you've always been such a square? I take no issues with the square. Straight angles. All sides equal. Perfectly reliable for a shape. Reliable isn't interesting, Arthur. I prefer to talk with people a little more. Rounded. I'm interesting. I'm rounded. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an old lady waiting for me. I can, uh, I'm looking for a good time. Oh, I'm not that kind of girl. Uh, no, I mean... 
I've been introduced to, to enjoy myself. I can you you don't need me for that. You this is uh, Are you alright? She she turned him down so fast. Hi! Another round of city juice, old chap. Oh, I don't work here. Then why wearing blue? Well, an old lady told me to get dressed into an... Alright, I don't think I want to know. Yeah, that's... Besides, you're killing my vibe with that sweet patatouille over there. You dig? Patatouille. Oh, those are... Ugh. Ah, okay. So he is trying to... What a jackass. Posh guy. Hello there. The name is Bergman. Hello there. I command, isn't it? That's right. Lady Unterwald talks up a storm about you. Really? What does she say? She says your work ethics is unquestionable. That's quite a compliment coming from her. Be careful though, lad. You're in her good books today, but she'll turn on a dime. Okay. Daughter. Hey there. The name's Diana Osterhangen. Pleased to make your acquaintance. You're the lawyer guy, right? That's me. Arthur Ackerman, attorney at law. There's not a large turnout for the big announcement tonight. Yes, I'm afraid Lady Unterwald is strangled from the large number of her family. Because her personal lawyer keeps writing him out of the inheritance. I'm well aware. Hmm, well. Relax. As someone that's migrated into this family, I can tell you they are all absolutely mad. No shit. Twin one, twin two. Well. Twin one. Hi there. Hello. Hello. He was talking to me. Why would he talk to you? He was clearly talking to me. Well, I guess I was talking to both. Oh shit, that was me. Both of us? At once? Oh, odd. Indeed. What a peculiar thing to say. Very strange. Well, Bowman, hello. What will it be? A strong coffee, please. Ooh, that's hot. Hello. D did I get coffee? I a glass of red. Oh, that, that sound effect. This is speaking to me. So, hope this suit is in the rental. Yeah, so I have a glass of red wine now, steaming hot cup of coffee. Assorted, assorted drinks, bar stools. Mm hmm, interesting. Let's go. I think that's the old lady. Deaf woman. Smartly dressed man. Hello, I'm Arthur Ackerman. What? I'm an attorney at law. You're a terrible bore? Ackerman. Arthur Ackerman. Martha Slackerman? You don't look like a Martha to me! Are you doing this on purpose? Who's to say? <laughs> I'm going to leave now. Hello, I'm Arthur Ackerman. I'm Dr. Hirsch, Lady Unterwald's personal doctor. Dr. Hers? Hirsch. Hirsch. Sorry, don't worry, I'll get that all the time. 
Is Lady Underworld in need of medical assistance? So, oh no, she's exceedingly springly for her age. She likes to keep me on hand. On retainer, will you? I, uh, okay, I, <laughs> I fucked up one so badly. Just how old is Lady Unterwald? I've always been too afraid to ask, honestly. Ha! Huh. That's doctor patient confidential. Confid. Yeah, it's patient. I'm sure tonight's speech is a way of saying she knows to slow things down a bit. Okay, cool. Oh, goodbye. Drunk man. Nice to. And you. I'm too sober for this conversation. I might need to get the, get on his level. Can I just use him? I don't want to make him any more inebriated. Ah, oh, I think... Lady Unterwald? Oh, Arthur, here you are. Are you ready to help me with these amendments? Uh, no, not just yet. Well, then dilly dally, I'm giving my speech soon. Yeah, okay, let me just, you know, check check things out, see if I haven't forgotten any type of interaction or... Can I just give her? She wouldn't like that. Well, dude, she definitely would like it. Can I give him a coffee or... Oh, maybe if I... He wouldn't like that. He wouldn't like that. He wouldn't like that. He wouldn't like that. <laughs> Please repeat after me. He wouldn't like that. Um okay, let's let's do let's see that I'm willing. I like the music in this game a lot. Oh, Arthur, there you are. Are you ready to help me with this manments? I'm ready and willing. Is that another joke of your lawyer? Another one of your lawyer jokes? Yes. Oh, will because of will. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for coming, Arthur. I trust you're enjoying yourself. As ordered, Lady Unterwald. Oh ho! That was a good one. But what you get to my age, you realize there's more to life than paperwork and legalize. Yes, ma'am. Speaking of which, there's the amendment amended will. I need you to keep it safe for me. I'll keep it in the briefcase, ma'am. I expect the speech tonight will... ruffle some feathers. Ma'am? All those fools out there. You really think any of them are cut out to take over the reins? Reins? <clears throat> Bickering sycophants, a lot of them, with far too much self-importance. They're just waiting for me to kick the bucket. It makes my blood boil just thinking about it. Open the window, will you, Arthur? I need some air. That's much better. It's funny, you might just the most useful person here, Arthur. Maybe not. I can always rely on you. 
Now it's time to gather the family. This old lady got a speech to make. Why haven't you closed the... Shit. Oh no. Well, what? The winners... The ball is cut. I might still have time to grab it. Oh, Arthur! Stop dilly dealing! Coming. Shit. Get... Alright, let's just begin. No, let's make good to the window. Old lady. Thank you all for coming. You know me as the aging Harris of the Walbram Empire. Bomb Empire. Who? There comes a day for everyone when you know your time is up. It's my desire to leave my legacy in good hands. And for that reason... looks like we're approaching a tunnel. Oh, she's gonna die. Ham! And for that reason? It's my desire that my estate be passed over in its entirety to... Holy shit. Lady Untowad, no! Wait. It could be just a flesh wound. Well, that... <laughs> All right. That was a little bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been a murder most foul. A murder so wicked and dra dastardly. Bastardly, I guess. That it can only be solved by an extraordinary detective. Such as I, Herman Merman. Herbert McFarm? Lady Underworld had written someone out of their inheritance mere moments before her demise. We can prove motive with one key piece of evidence. Mr. Ackerman? Yes? You were safekeeping a will and testament. Apart from myself, you hold the key to who killed Lady Unterwald, <coughs> please hand it over to me now. Well, I'm just, I must have left it with my other pair of pants. Well, trousers, I would prefer. You do not possess the will currently. Nevertheless, I shall continue. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been watching tonight's proceedings with a keen eye. He's going to get killed too. And I shall reveal who I know the killer is in this very room. Mark my words, this malicious malefactor. Convicting wretched wrongdoer. Will have nowhere to hide. Another tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to get killed. Forgive me for the third tricks. The killer is... Ack. Well then. What now? Ah, oh, she's still bleeding. Oh! Hey, that is... Herman Merman said I was the only other person who could reveal the killer. Why am I talking like this? I need to find out who killed both him and Lady Unterwald. And get that world back. Or I could be the next to go. I need to check their quarters to see if there is any clues. But how to get in? Uh, can I use this? I can't use that. I can't use them together. I can't use that. That's right there. To grab it with. Oh, shoot. Try 
train guard. Sorry, sir. Lady Underworld's quarter are strictly off limits, but I'm a hard Tony, no exception. Why haven't we stopped a train? Orders are to keep going till the police can board the next destination. Am I speaking with a more British accent? We've contacted the area. The killer has nowhere to go from here. But we're in the area. Let me through. There might be some key evidence in our quarters. Can't do that, sir. Pretty please, let me in. Sorry, sir. No can do. Pretty, pretty please. With a cherry on top. Mm. All right, go ahead. Really? Nope. Nobody is getting past me as long as I'm standing here. Okay, I'm leaving now. But I'll be back. Shit, I need to find a way to convince that guard to leave his post. Can I just... I don't like that. I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't li oh, maybe I can use the letter to my advantage, right? He wouldn't like that. Shoot. Okay. Uh... Helman mentioned you stumbling around the halls earlier. Did you see something? <gasps> Perhaps it's... <gasps> Outwitted, man. What do you know? A man... <gasps> there is some... <gasps> it's not nice. I'm too sober for this conversation. I might need to get on this level. I think this is the moment where you, you know, you act on it, right? Can I use a glass of wine? Yeah, I don't want to make him more, but I want to make myself more. Hello. How are you doing, Dr. Hirsch? That's all they're doing to call me from now on? Now, isn't it? Dr. Hirsch? The doctor of that who failed to save Lady Unterwald? Unterwald? Despite standing right next to her? There's nothing I could have done. Who do you think the murderer is? I was hoping you could tell us. I'm working on it. We'll be quick about it, Mr. Ackerman. Plenty of dark tunnels on the route ahead. And we're all locked in with a killer. Uh, who would want to kill Lady Unterwald? Lady Unterwald cut a lot of people off her will, you know. And there's wealth, power and influence Playful. People tend to go a bit loco. I guess this is where the title of the game comes from. The locomotive. I can't believe they killed Herman Mammon. Herman must have got too close to the truth. Not to mention he was doing Lady Unterwald's dirty work. All that spying. Scandalous. Goodbye. You know what? I'm just going to try to grab the will. That can't put me in a failed state anyway. There's a murder on the loose. Oh, that was me. What? No service in the camboos? I'm going to leave now. Waiter. Hello. Good evening, sir. Do you know who's been, he's been drinking over there? I believe it's an almost lethal combination of... Ethanol and assorted plant fiber. Okay. With a dose of caffeine. Mixed to perfection, of course. He calls it the rosebud. <coughs> Can I get a rosebud? <coughs> you have to ask at the bar, sir. Goodbye. I'm guessing that I can do it with. Can't mix those together. Can you give me a... There it is. I can still grab it. Yeah. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Damn. Let's move towards the sleeper's carriage. Let's talk to 
the bomb and to see if I... What it will be? The rosebud, please. Sorry, sir. We don't have the petal leaf to make it. Mr. Messon drunk our entire supply. I'm afraid we're all out. For the do the ingredients? Can you make it then? Might be able to whip something similar up. Okay. So now I need to find one of these things. Um, let's see how it goes. Dum 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 dum. It's locked. Can I use? I can't use that. So let's. It's locked. I guess I still need the key. To my quarters. Can I get something interesting? No, there's nothing here that I can use for the time being. For the time being. Can I get to the sleeper? And besides, there's a killer on the loose. Yeah, but it supposedly can't I I guess I need to open the door. So let's talk to everybody. Hi, how can I help you? Suzanne, tell me what to do. If that was you, I'd probably try to get that will back. Thanks. Sleaze ball. Hey, make yourself useful. Take this note and give it to the lady behind me, will you? And don't forget to give her my room key too. Happy to help. Thanks. Does that open it? Yes. There's the will. Might it be able to reach it? Uh, I need to get the window open. Uh, for something... Yes. I might be able to use the... Yes. Perfect. This is amazing. Yeah, that did the job. Snap my hand at the process. It doesn't matter. I need something with a longer reach? What the hell? Uh, I need something with more reach? What the hell have I missed? Is there something more in a different carriage? Okay, let's get back to my room. Let's see if there's something and then I will scan the other carriages. I like the music. Bam, bam. Hello there. Oh, Arthur. Can you believe it? What a mess state of affairs we all find ourselves in. My feelings exactly. Who do you think the murder is? I wouldn't like to take any guesses at this point. I'm ideally hoping to stay out of proceedings if at all if possible. Nothing worse than making a target of yourself. In a room with a trap. Trapped in a room with a killer, I guess. Who not want to kill Lady Unterwald? Well, Arthur. You generate as much willpower and influence as she did. You naturally create a few enemies along the way. I can't believe they killed Herman Merman. Rather foolish of him to paint that target on your back, I thought. Surely the killer among us will be trying to tie up any loose ends. And you're looking like a particularly loose end. If you don't mind me saying. Ooh. Goodbye. Hello again. Did I tell you, Archer? Totally mad. A lot of them. I didn't expect them to go this far, though. Someone on this train must have had a real axe to grind. You think... <laughs> you think you know who did it? I bet the money on those creepy twins, personally. Go on. 
they constant one up manship with each other gets tiring. I saw them argue over a designer bag they found once. They argued back and forth for hours, tugging at it. That poor bug didn't stand a chance. Interesting. I can't believe Lady Unterwald is gone. Sorry, Archer. I know you two were close in some ways. I guess you're not out of a cushy job now, too. Oh dear. I didn't even think of that. Poor Herman Merman. Parading around like that, he was practically asking for it. Especially as it lightly spied on half the people aboard this train. Goodbye. Hi there. Hello. Hello. Mm, sorry for your loss. I can't believe she's gone. It was a fav. I was a favorite, you know. No, she told me I was his. Oh God. <laughs> she probably just confused you for me. All right, guys. Just a good one. Hi there. I was a favorite. No, I was. I'm not this again. Yeah. Uh, shit. So I need something with longer reach. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Recocker. Are they won't mind if I bore it is. Does the cork help? Toodle sleeper carriage. Or maybe I need to combine two things. Is that considered as okay? I need something with more reach. I can't use them together. No. Can I use that with anything? I don't think I can use it here. Okay, so I have a re... Metal corking device. Oh, I have a metal corking device. Let's scan the area, shall we? Those games have always the same type of tactic. Waiter. Hello, good evening, sir. Yeah, I can't get a rosebud without... I wouldn't like that. She wouldn't like that. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Yeah. Anthony. I'm leaving now. Okay, I'm probably missing something obvious. So I need those two things in order to be able to make the rosebud. Let me give her the love note then. This is for you. That spin from the Twitter has been making the eyes at me all evening. It's soon and jump out of this carriage window that rendezvous with that rotten egg. It is perfumed at least. Well, it certainly stinks of desperation. <laughs> Holy shit. She wouldn't like that. It reeks of inspiration. Okay, um, let's get back to the sleeper carriage. I 
I need something with a longer reach. So can I combine either one? No, I can't. Can't use them together. Just trying random stuff at this point. So for the rosebud, I need to interact with the drunk guy, right? Um, I'm a bit at a loss here. Hmm. The sound now is bugging a bit. I can talk to him. Hi. Please, ball. Hi. Okay. He doesn't want to talk. Uh, goodbye. Okay. So I need something with a longer... Oh, the old woman. Well, the sound is... What? No service in the cameras? I might be deaf, but I'm certainly not blind. Well, not with the glasses anyway. <laughs> oh, I can... What do you think of this? Officially, I recommend wearing gloves when handling anything so potent. <laughs> oh, but it's on. The sound is a bit bugging out. Ah. Yeah, it's three. He wouldn't like that. Okay. Uh, train guard. Looks like you have a secret admirer. Wow. This is... Huh. Explicit, I know. And the perfume. It's so awful. Alluring. Wait for me in room 4C. Watch this post of you. Of course. <laughs> okay, this is fucking lies. With the guard gone... I can see if there is any evidence of Lady Underworld's quarter. Okay. I was not expecting that. It's hard to see her like this. Are you running away the next you roll up in the ugly rug? My side that hog. Okay. This can come in handy. Yes. I hope you don't mind. Of course she doesn't mind. She'd probably be fine with it. Yeah. And I combine those two things. I can't use them together. Ah, now I can have a... Yes, I have a hook. Something else to secure it in place. Shit. Now I need to find a new thing. Loose petals. Ah, oh, yes. I can talk deep. To the drunk man now. Uh, the late lady Underworld. Okay. I think the, the sound literally gave up at this point. Oh, I can talk to the barman, I think. Hello. Rosebud. Yes. Okay, so I need to take that and give it to him, I guess. What do specials do? Hmm, I can work with that. Now I can only give to you the real deal if you're anywhere under 200 LBS. Your liver will live. What can you... 
Rosebud Light has all the flavor of the Rosebud, but will still be able to, you know, from s form sentences precisely. Interesting. It's delicious. Might be able to make it stronger with some experimentation and something to mix it all up. And, um, I can't use them together. So now I need to find another container. Um, I need to find something to keep the... That doesn't work, right? I need a better way to secure the hook to the... Shoot. And none of these things will do, right? Oh. Yep. I can hear only now the music is gone. A tiny sink for a tiny room. Can I put it in the sink? No, nope, can't. There is no item here. And I can go left. Okay. So let's go fully right. To the dining carriage. So I need to find something in order to secure the hook. I can't use those things together. That's what I thought initially. So I probably found something else. I need something to secure them together. Ow. Maybe there's something else in our quarters which I've also seen. No, okay. A hat? Or oh, can't I make stuff in the hat? No. Well, that was a dumb. Okay, that was kind of dumb, but. All right. Back to speaking to everybody, I guess. Yep, that's the only way to do it. I'm still not on this level. I can't use those together. I need to find a, a container, basically. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait! Too slow, Sonny. Shit. Can I offer her? She wouldn't like that. Coffee, she wouldn't like that. She wouldn't like that. She wouldn't like that. You wouldn't like that. Boy, hello. Good evening, sir. Ah, uh, goodbye. Um, Hesh doesn't have... There's not much more dialogue options there. The twins still arguing. They should. Hello again. Goodbye. So wait, I need I need some kind of Okay, I'm probably missing something, right? Let's come over the area. There must be like a small detail that I've missed. Because I need to secure that. So I need some kind of rope or glue. I'm guessing it sh should be a rope 
Okay, I can't use the rug there. By the way, I can attest that the wheel is just securing place like crazy. I got the horn! Goblet. There were some ways to seal it. It wasn't so gross. I heard that. Would pour straight through. Ah, okay. Yes, I did it. The hole is now sealed. Okay. One. Few more ingredients. Two. One more. Perfect. I got it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here goes nothing. Holy shit. Hmm. I don't feel any different. That's what I was going to say, just like a few moments later. And Swifty, you've Mushwiz friend. Yes, Arthur. Yes, Arthur. All very pleased that you're finally having a good time. But I can't understand a word you're saying. None of us can. Uh oh. I must be drunk. Since I'm drunk now, I should be able to drunk communicate. Drunk communicate. Well, drunk communicate. Oh, how you call that? My good man. Are you enjoying my signature. My signature drink? You're finally sobered up. Mwah. Of course she's not. Just the shame amount of drug. <coughs> the shame. Well, that makes sense. Short off. Say, so saw you early, early in the evening. Not long before the last case. Well, almost definitely. I was well aware of that defective detective. Crashing and bashing about in his quarters last night. Who came up with this shroud bush of anyhow? Well, the French. What? Tell me about the crashing and bashing you heard. Oh, it was awful. Drove me to drink in despair. It did? Well, it was already... I was already drinking. <coughs> oh god, that makes me cough, actually. <clears throat> I'm going to stop doing that. Took them while I wasn't looking. Oh, Hammond's case. Here, take them, lad. And make sure you crank the case. Sober fish, do. Can I sober up? Well, with the keys now, I should be able to access the other room, which probably has more stuff. And I should also probably drink something. Um, because in order to sober up, drinking a lot of water is usually a good first step. Good. I can't use that. You can't use... I'm too drunk to open the door. I should sober up. Uh, can I sleep in my car? Waters? Oh, shoot. How can I sober up? Oh, I can ask only for coffee. Probably. Why 
Rush shop. Strong coffee, please. Yeah, thanks. Okay, the strong coffee was the neat. My head is killing me. I hope I didn't embarrass myself. Hi. How can I help you, Arthur? Goodbye. Shit, it's probably back. The sleaze ball is not there, so he's probably back in his room. I'll first go to this room. I can't use that. What? Oh. Well. Herman Mermans. This place has been trashed. Someone must have been looking for something. I'm pretty sure they did. Knocked over lamp, discard. And the moment a locked briefcase. All right. That's a snug fit. Maybe I can find some. Why? Why did you do it this way, man? Why? Why did you do it this way? Uh. Um, I need to break it open somehow. Can't use those together. Can't use those together. Is the guy in his room? It is, he isn't. But the will is there. When there is a will, there is a need, there is a will. Hello there. Oh, Arthur. Yeah, my feelings exactly. Goodbye. Hi there. Nope. The girl, maybe? Nope. I have no dialogue options for that. Maybe you the waiter? Hello, good evening, sir. Goodbye. What? Nope, that's not that guy either. Have you sobered up yet? Perhaps. I'm still not on his level. Yeah, well, I was on his level and then I wasn't. Can I use? No, I can't beat the body. So I need to unlock the briefcase or find something or someone to break it. I've talked to everybody around here. But they can't help. So probably the... Um, probably the train crew? Hello. It will be never mind. It wasn't the daughter. It wasn't Suzanne. Okay, can I just interact with people indirectly? She wouldn't like that. She wouldn't like that. She wouldn't like that. When one say do any of you know anyone who could open this briefcase? I'll give it a shot. Let me try first. No, Clay ask me. I'm the best person for the job. Best person for the job. Okay, because I have already opened it. It's mine. 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 They will break it, I guess. Um. Well... Look what you did. It wasn't me. I think my work here is done. Ooh. Detective strength duct tape. Oh, great. I have duct tape now. So I can use the duct tape on the hook. 
This should secure the hook in place. Time to bring that will from the cold. Exactly what I wanted to do. Yes. Great. I got it. I said, Will, there's a way. That's right. Anything's possible. Herman, Merman? What the fuck? What, Will, so you die? Did you? Or did you watch a master at work? I have the will, Herman. It will reveal the murderer. Indeed. That's what I'm afraid of. Shit, that was him. <coughs> That's not true. That's impossible. It's true. Ambushed. In my own room. Quiet you. I'll find an even smaller space to duct tape you in. Yep. Okay, Zendute. As for you, Archer, shall we take this outside? Look. What? That's interesting. You've been a thorn in my side since the moment we met. It will be a pleasure to kill you. No witnesses after all. Wait, I have questions. Questions? What questions? Why did you kill Lady Unterwald? I spent years spying on her family, reporting any and all indiscretion. If anyone so much as stepped out of line, she'd know about it. <clears throat> also, she could keep a wrinkled hand clean. We had a deal. It was you that she wrote out of her will? Oh, yes. Lady Unterwald decided she was done with me. Felt remorse for all the underhand spying, she said. Written out just like that. I merely return the favor. Why they need to fake your death? Yeah. Lady Unterwald was already dead. I was ready to switch the original will with a copy, trusting that Lady Unterwald's paranoia would ensure nobody had seen the original. Losing the will made things complicated simply wasn't prepared for your incompetence. Nobody suspects the dead man. I bought me some more time. You trashed your room to throw off the scent? No, no. That was just me losing my temper. Anyway, time's up. Goodbye, Mr. Ackerman. Wait! What on earth are you doing? Prepare to buckle under justice. <laughs> okay, that is great. <laughs> I wonder what Arthur Boys is up to. I hope he took my advice about making new friends. I what? Hello? Is anyone there? I have your note, my love. That's nice, but I'm very badly wounded. In coal? All right. Why do you persist in living? Get back to here and face me. You miserable cockroach. You there, bear juggler. What? What? That was my favorite gun, you know. <clears throat> you blustering rodent. 
you wet blanket of a man. Why couldn't you keep your nose out of it? You clueless ape. Bumbling buffoon. A oh, cold pile. No. You whimpering simpleton. Well, that was something odd. Oh, well, tunnel. <laughs> Looks like Herman came up short. I'm sorry, sir. We found Herman's body. Well, half of it. But we couldn't recover the will. That's okay, Morris. I have it right here. <gasps> but before I read the will, I want to say that I've really learned something here. What's that, Arthur? Don't expect much from a video game made in two weeks. That was very good, man. Honestly, that was an excellent thing. Don't, don't. Dude, this is excellent. This is a throwback game. <laughs> Quite right, young man. It's a fool's errand. Madness. I knew that before you did. Get on with it. Ah, the will reading. It reads as follows. I, Lady Unterwald, being sound mind and legal capacity, leave my entire estate to Arthur Ackerman. What? You poisonous goat. You turn her against us. I... Oh, you better run. Oh, look. Another tunnel. I think I die. This is the moment I die. Adam Rich's story, art and sound. Joseph Rich's stories and code. Angelo Di Rosa. Well, that was a very nice, very, very nice game. That was awesome. So that was for a game jam, but boy, that was good. They absolutely nailed it. All right. Uh, we'll make a short pose right now and be back, um, I think, in maybe one hour. Um, not sure with what yet, but uh, you'll see. It will be coming. All right. Talk to you later.